Are you ready for an adventure like no other? Welcome fellow explorers to exciting archaeology news. Today, we're taking you on a journey to the breathtaking Tigray region of Ethiopia, where a hidden wonder awaits, the magnificent rock-hewn church of Abuna Yemeta Ga. This ancient place of worship, dating back to the 5th century, is no ordinary find. Standing tall among more than 100 rock-hewn churches, Abuna Yemeta Ga is an awe-inspiring gem that beckons the boldest of souls. But hold on tight, because this adventure will take your breath away. You're about to scale colossal cliffs, unlock ancient mysteries, and witness the wonders of the past like never before. Join us on Exciting Archaeology News, where we unravel the mysteries of the past and showcase incredible discoveries from around the world. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and smash that like for more thrilling escapades through history. Our journey takes us to Ethiopia, a land steeped in history and one of the earliest strongholds of Christianity. Nestled within the picturesque Tigray region of Ethiopia, there lies a remarkable rock-hewn church dating back to the 5th century. The arid climate of the region has remarkably preserved the church's 6th century paintings, which were crafted using animal fat. This extraordinary place of worship is called Abuna Yemeta Ga. While northern Ethiopia boasts more than 100 rock-hewn churches, Abuna Yemeta Ga stands out as a unique and stunning gem. Unlike the others, reaching this sacred site requires a daring ascent up a colossal cliff face. The church itself stands proudly at a height of 2,580 meters, a remarkable feat of architecture. Its dome and stunning wall paintings date back to the 5th century, offering visitors a glimpse into Ethiopia's rich Christian heritage. The church is literally carved into the side of a cliff, surrounded by rotating drops of 650 meters on all sides, making it immensely inaccessible. Its remote location and challenging journey have earned it the reputation of being the most distant place of worship in the world. Embarking on a pilgrimage to Abuna Yemeta Ga is no ordinary undertaking. To reach the sacred site, both visitors and worshippers are faced with a dangerous undertaking. The first challenge is crossing a natural stone bridge with a sheer drop of approximately 250 meters on either side. This treacherous passage leads to a narrow wooden footbridge that acts as the gateway to the most challenging part of the ascent. The next stage of the journey involves a daunting climb up a vertical rock wall with only hand grips and footholds to rely on. To honor the sanctity of the holy ground, all must undertake this climb barefoot. As pilgrims make their way, they must travel along a narrow 50-centimeter wide ledge, facing a heart-stopping drop of 980 feet. The excitement and danger of the ascent are unparalleled, making this an experience that tests both the physical and spiritual fortitude of those who undertake it. The journey can take up to an hour, depending on one's fitness level and acclimation to the height altitude. Abuna Yemeta Ga, also known as the Church of St. Yemeta, finds its origins in the Geralta Mountains of Tigray. It was built during the reign of King Lalabella in the 13th century, but its roots can be traced back to St. Abuna Yemeta, one of the nine saints who introduced Christianity to Ethiopia in the late 5th century, believed to have journeyed from Syria, Constantinople, or Rome. Upon entering the church, visitors are greeted by a breathtaking sight. The interior is decorated with stunning frescoes and intricate carvings depicting biblical scenes, with more depictions from the Old Testament than the New Testament. The cave ceiling on its own is covered by two beautiful frescoes featuring vibrant patterns, religious imagery, and the faces of nine of the twelve apostles of Christ. Among the oldest icons are the diptychs and triptychs from the 15th century. The intricate traceries found in the church are similar to those found in nearby Geralta churches, such as De Bretisian Church, adding to the historical significance of the place. Inside the church, an Orthodox Bible with vivid, colorful sheets made of goatskin can be found. The devotion of the priests at Abuna Yemeta Ga is truly remarkable, with some having spent decades atop the mountain, rarely coming down. Ethiopia boasts one of the world's oldest strands of Christianity, with its roots tracing back to the time of the Old Testament. Today, services are still held at this sacred site, and the faithful frequently make the strenuous climb for prayers and baptisms, showcasing the enduring allure of this holy place. The church's modest yet invaluable library contains ancient manuscripts written in Giz, adding to the wealth of the historical treasures. 
According to Abuna priests, they still use the original Bible from the year 5 AD during their prayers, a testament to the deep-rooted tradition that permeates this sacred space. Father Asifa, an experienced climber who has been scaling this rock for over 50 years, reassures visitors that the path to Abuna Yemetaga are considered blessed. Remarkably, there have been no recorded fatalities during the climb, and it is believed that the patron saint of the church protects those who may fall, guiding them safely back to the ledge halfway down. For Father Rasifa, climbing this rock holds a deeply personal significance as his family has a long-standing tradition of serving at Abuna Yemetaga. Near the main church lies the Abuna Yemeta Asuari, a cave where generations of priests have been laid to rest among these rocky cliffs, creating a strong sense of heritage and devotion. However, it is crucial to understand that the journey to reach this holy site is not for the faint of heart. The first 45-minute climb involves moderate challenges, with a few difficult sections requiring the use of toeholds. To aid in the final climb, guides provide ropes, which are available for a fee of about $3 or $4. The last two minutes of the climb are particularly demanding, calling for exceptional courage as climbers scramble and walk along a narrow vertical ledge perched on a 200 to 300 meter drop. Arriving at the destination does not signal the end of the thrilling yet nerve-wracking journey. Descending the mountain using bare feet awaits, adding an extra level of daring to the experience. Despite the perilous route to Abuna Yemetaga, it remains a place of unwavering devotion and pilgrimage. Even local priests in their 80s undertake the journey for service, and courageous mothers carry their newborns to be baptized, reaffirming the powerful significance and spiritual pull of this extraordinary rock-hewn church. The Church of Abuna Yemetaga is a treasure trove of ancient religious art, alluring many art enthusiasts despite the challenging journey. The well-preserved paintings make the risk of ascent worthwhile for those who admire religious art. These fine works of art are some of the oldest Christian art in the world. The exquisite paintings adorning the walls were created using natural pigments derived from flowers, fruits, and minerals. The challenging ascent to reach the church has meant that only a few have laid eyes on these paintings, leading to their exceptional preservation. Thankfully, the presence of priests and locals stationed at the mountain helps climbers. By offering a tip of around 100 beer, or $2, they provide guidance and assistance through the slippery rocks, giving weary climbers a helping hand when needed. They also point out natural crevices in the wall, acting like rock-climbing coaches where climbers can place their hands and feet for support. To protect the valuable artwork from sun damage, the interior is kept dim when the front door is shut. When the door is open, daylight gradually seeps in, revealing the vibrant frescoes that depict nine of Christ's apostles. The intricate lines and rich colors of the paintings give the impressions that the church was built only a few years ago, reflecting the timelessness of the artwork. Intriguingly, the Ethiopian Orthodox Church employs a unique portrayal method in its icons. A person's holiness is depicted by having their entire face visible, including both eyes. Conversely, those considered evil, such as sinners and those who reject God, are shown in profile with only one eye visible. This artistic convention makes it easy to distinguish between good and evil in Ethiopian Orthodox icons. As for why Father Yemeta chose such an inaccessible location for the church's construction, various speculations abound. Some believe that the treacherous journey symbolizes the path to heaven, reflecting the search for true divinity. Others posit that Father Yemeta sought a secluded spot for worship. Regardless, the question of how Father Yemeta managed to build this church over 1,500 years ago without the aid of modern tools and machinery remains an unsolved mystery, shrouding this extraordinary place of worship in awe and wonder for generations to come. Abuna Yemeta Ga holds a strong religious, cultural, and historical significance that makes it an extraordinary pilgrimage site for Ethiopian Orthodox Christians. Beyond its stunning architecture and artwork, the church draws believers who brave the dangerous climb to pay homage to St. Yemeta and seek spiritual blessings and guidance. The church's history adds to its charm and mystery, as it is believed to have provided a safe refuge for early Christians during times of persecution. Its hidden entrance and remote location allowed those fleeing persecution to find shelter discreetly. To safeguard its secret, the church's construction was intentionally kept discreet, avoiding unwanted attention. However, visiting Abuna Yemeta God demands immense courage and physical readiness. Since the climb to the church is steep and narrow, it requires a good level of fitness and agility. 
Altitude also poses a consideration. Since a Yameda gust sits at an elevation of 2,500 meters, this can lead to altitude sickness for some individuals. To mitigate potential health issues, visitors should accustom themselves properly before attempting the climb and take precautions such as staying hydrated and avoiding alcohol. For those seeking daring and unforgettable experiences during a visit to Ethiopia, a pilgrimage to Abuna Yameda Ga offers a journey that combines spiritual devotion, breathtaking art, and a powerful connection to history. This unparalleled adventure calls out to the bold-hearted to discover one of the world's most remarkable and remote places of worship. As we conclude our epic journey through the wonders of Abuna Yameda Ga, we are humbled by the immense spiritual significance and the indomitable human spirit that crafted this marvel. The ancient paintings, the dizzying heights, and the daring ascent have created an astonishing experience that defies time, leaving us in awe of Ethiopia's enduring legacy of faith and architecture. Don't miss the chance to be part of this incredible journey through time. Subscribe to our channel and hit that like button to discover more remarkable wonders from around the world. Together, let's keep exploring, learning, and celebrating the undying human spirit that has shaped our world's extraordinary heritage for centuries.